Okay, I am here. I have arrived. It is that time. Time for some more Cataclysm. Okay, first, let's go make sure everything's working as usual. Uh, I believe so. Notifications out. That is working. That is working. Yeah, I think we're all set. Cool. Cool. Good when things work. Ah, yes, the tea is of proper temperature. <laughs> Sipping tea. All right, what was I doing in this silly game? It's been three days. What's going on? We took some damage. We fixed, or are in the process of fixing damage. We still have terrible non-existent combat abilities. Oh, Fab Six. Uh, yeah, all yeah, right. I remember. I remember. Something something books. Yeah, something like that. I, I think it's more something something driving. <laughs> all about the Humvee. All about the Humvee. Hiya, Vorm. Happy Monday, Vo hi yo. <laughs> hey there, Count Alias. Thank you very much. Happy Monday to you, too. Happy, uh, happy, uh, where is it? Happy new zombie dog. New zombie dog, uh, you know, widget day, <laughs> little picture day. Yeah, those things. That is a greedy zombie dog, greedy zombie dog. If you want to know why, I'll, I'll push this button over here. That is why. That is greedy zombie dog. And we'll put that up here. <laughs> there we go. We'll just leave that up there for a little bit. So, you know, anytime, anytime you see me pressing my luck in Cataclysm, looting too much, extending too far into the city, you know, taking chances, being greedy, that's, that's what you can use right there. And, you know, I expect it to be used very often, <laughs> very commonly. Because, you know, I'm not having fun unless I'm pushing my luck. It's not a party till I go, hmm, <laughs> maybe I've, I've done something I should not have chosen to do. <laughs> it is a possibility. Ah, speaking of greedy zombie dogs, thank you for keeping my elbow warm with your panting breath there, zombie dog. I appreciate that. Too bad it's always the left elbow. <laughs> The right elbow is feeling left out of this whole procedure. <laughs> yeah, that is a that is a young zombie dog. I think he was a uh, year and a half, year. I, I don't remember when that was taken exactly. Bit off a little more than he can chew. No, he did not ever conquer <laughs> conquer that rawhide bone. He got the end off, and he got, I don't know, six inches down <laughs> down the side of that thing. And uh, that's that's when he, he finally gave up. Then it was just a, uh, a walking hazard after that. Ah. Let's uh, get back onto this screen. Let's put that back up. Uh, we'll move greedy zombie dog right over top of the uh, the new the new quest the new uh, goal. <laughs> hey there, everybody in chat! Welcome, welcome, Jemison Van Waxy Account Bim and assorted Motley crew. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah, feel free to use it whenever. <laughs> I know it's going to have some uh, some representational value. No, I never did find a bigger bone than that one for him. That was the that was the height of his bone gnawing career right there. He peaked young. <laughs> 
He retired from uh, international bone chewing competitions right after that event. Okay, uh, I think I got everything in order here. Ah, we're good to go. So, five minutes in, uh, that's long enough. Let's uh, get things moving along a bit. We'll leave Zombie Dog up, but we'll shrink him down a bit. I don't think you guys care about uh, the mini-map. None of you are interested in seeing the mini-map anyway. So we'll leave him up for a little bit so people understand what that, uh, that little teeny tiny emote means <laughs> it's a little hard to make out if you don't know if you don't see the reference is it time for school it's uh it's not time for school because it's still daylight outside <laughs> although i might go try to at least do the initial you know uh pied piper routine while it's daylight and then return at night to try to actually do the infiltration i don't know yet we'll see we're gonna do a little bit more drive to Oh, excuse me, a little bit more driving around beforehand. But books are definitely what we're needing now. Now that we have conquered the uh, the Humvee upgrade hill, uh, we definitely need books. But that's uh, the, the Humvee thing was very, very important thing to get finished up. So I'm glad we got that done last week, or on Friday. On mobile, you can get almost no info from the new map. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> you can read the text, but uh, the mini map's not all that valuable, probably. Have you seen the game Nearly Dead? It looks like it's taken a lot of inspiration from CDDA. That's because it's not inspired by CDDA. It actually is CDDA. It's made by CDDA former, or maybe current, devs and mods um, from Korea. And they've taken CDDA literally, <laughs> taken on a little uh, hammer and chisel to it to, to dumb it down and simplify it, convert it into a real-time engine, and um, put a paint job on it. And there you go. You can go pay 20 bucks to play Cataclysm. <laughs> no, I will not be playing it. I have no interest in it. It is literally Cataclysm. It's not inspired by. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not uh, I'm not super impressed with uh, Nearly Dead. I mean, in two, three years, if it's still around in a thing and they've actually added something that's not Cataclysm to it, I'll look at it. But right now, when it's literally Cataclysm... It, is, I, it has no interest for me whatsoever. It removes everything that makes Cataclysm interesting to me. All the depth, all the complexity. It's just a massively shaved down Cataclysm. It's kind of wedged into that gap right in between Cataclysm and Project Zomboid. Trying to take advantage of both and just using all of the information and assets basically from Cataclysm to, to make 20 bucks. So, no, well, I'm not interested. <laughs> I get asked fairly often and I've been saying the same thing the entire time, so... But yeah, don't be fooled. It's not it's not like Cataclysm. It is Cataclysm. You go look at some of the screens. I mean, it's all the same items. It's all the same information. Everything's called the same. Same maps, same buildings. Uh, all the skills are exactly the same. I mean, the skill list, it's exactly this skill list. The stats, I think only one changed. I think Dex became willpower. Other than that, it's just, it's literally Cataclysm. So, there you go. That's enough of that. If you want to go try it out, go try it out. If it's great, I'm happy. Enjoy it. But uh, it holds no interest for me. Don't get me wrong. They are putting a lot of effort into it. So I do applaud the technical aspects of converting the game into real time. And some of the artists that did work for a lot of the Cataclysm tile sets, uh, M's Auto and so on, are part of that project. And the artwork looks pretty good. But um, the, the actual gameplay is just, it's literally Cataclysm, just in a slightly different format with a different paint job, so. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Hope they find some nice wasp friends to distract all the zombie kids. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't remember there being any of those guys down there, but uh, we'll see. Do you feel like Autodoc tables OP if you can find one? No, because where the hell are you getting CBMs? <laughs> I mean, Autodoc tables, fine. They're not common. So, I mean, if you're somehow getting yourself, getting a hold of massive amounts of CBMs, then you're not playing a current version of the game. <clears throat> 
But you know, I don't know where CBMs are at right now. I haven't done a CBM heavy run recently, so it's all tied up in the Exodi stuff. I did see in the updates that the Exodi, there's an Exodi base now, I think. I don't know if it's actually in-game or not, but uh, there's actually an Exodi base uh, of some kind. And um, it's still very much a work in progress. I'm kind of holding off diving much into CBMs currently, just pending a little bit more development, a little more push further down the, the Exodi, Exodi conversion line. However it's pronounced, I, I, I've been using Exodi. Is it Exodi? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to call, keep calling it Exodi. And hey, Bim Durian, thanks for dropping uh, a sub in. The Adams Laboratory, apparently. You mean for healing? Uh, no, they're fine. Again, they're they're hard to get to. I mean, where are you getting to your auto docks? They're either in a lab to start with, and if you're in there, you don't have much resources to take advantage of them anyway. If you're going into a lab from the outside, you've already conquered most of the difficulty, so eh, who cares? Uh, if you're getting to a lab above ground, it's either a doctor's office, which is only one in three of the doctor's office's buildings, and they're inside cities. And you might get lucky with one right on the outskirts, but uh, again, that's luck compiled on top of luck. You're definitely not going into a hospital early to get to one. So again, you've already conquered the difficulty if you're able to get into a doctor's or a hospital's auto dock. Um, so no, I, I don't. I don't find them particularly problematic they're gonna undergo changes just like everything in that whole whole <laughs> milieu they're they're gonna get changed at some point and kind of adjusted we have a whole we have whole wholesale changes to the wound system coming i mean are autodocs gonna be able to amputate mangled limbs are they gonna uh, uh help with uh, burn injuries uh, i don't know there's a whole bunch of stuff that uh, is kind of undergoing changes so i don't worry about the uh the, the doctor or the, uh, the the healing items and all that. Exodii? <laughs> no, uh, it's a made-up word. I can call it anything I want. <laughs> They're gonna make it up. I'm gonna call it however I see it. Found one in the basement. Yep, there's a basement version. That would be the uh, the auto dock for the basement start for one of the bionic. I, I, do you have the uh, the Bionic Professions mod on? I don't remember if it can spawn without the Bionic Professions mod. Um, but yeah, there's there's a, a start that puts you in a basement uh, for some with an auto dock. I can't remember if it's uh, well, it's it's before the Bionic Surgeon mod. There was another one that would put you in a basement with an auto dock. It's been forever since I did it, but yeah, there's a couple like that. So yeah. Super rare, though. <laughs> to find it not starting in it, super rare. If you start in it initially, then, I mean, it's you, you've picked it as part of the difficulty factor, so whether you call that easy or high, whichever. But um, finding it randomly just by going house to house is a not one in a million shot, but one in a pretty big number shot. So, yeah, it's fine. Okay. Hey there, Murderer Phoenixes. I see you found the button. <laughs> I see you found the button. I put up a picture over the mini map of uh, where the uh, where that particular emote comes from. That's a, a picture of Zombie Dog in his youthful glory, tackling the uh, you know the chew bone of his life, his ultimate achievement. So I figured it'd be a little hard to know exactly what that emote actually looked like or represented without the uh, the full picture there to help out. <laughs> okay, I'll take it off of the mini-map here in just a little bit. Um, uh, that's enough chitty-chatty about all that kind of stuff. So, uh, what are you about? 16 minutes? So real gameplay starts at 16 minutes? Something like that? Let's uh, take a look. So, again, uh, we're in okay shape. We're going to heal up probably before we head into the school for the night anyway. I know we've been just kind of tooling around the, uh, the the apocalypse verse here. We did a big circle, a big circle. End up where we're at now. We came all the way from up here and then down this way. And then across. So yeah, we just did a big circle. And that was with the intent to, you know, explore and take opportunity loot. But uh, also to kind of bring us back towards this school. 
and other opportunities that were over here. So we're just north of that. We got the school just southwest of us here. Uh, we're not going to the dump, we're not going to the mine. We've got a city connection right up here I might go peek at real quick. And then we have an evac shelter I should have stopped at while we were traveling by it. And I uh, should have checked the computer there to get the location of the local uh, refugee center. Because the goal of the challenge is to get the books converted to digital and then uh, drop copies off at the three refugee centers. So it's going to require a lot of traveling. And uh, so I need, to, I need to track that down as well. So that's kind of the goal. We got stuff. We got stuff and things. We're doing pretty good on the tools. We're doing uh, pretty good on weaponry and ammo. Uh, and explosives. We're still a little light on some medical gear and uh, food's absolutely no problem. The vehicle is really, really good. So we've got it completely repaired, mostly tuned up. We just need a few more cargo spaces to uh, basically convert, com complete the conversion. We've got our kitchen unit, we've got our welding rig, and um, we've got plenty enough space currently. We're not going to run out anytime soon. So we'll see what happens there, uh, but I will opportunity grab some more cargo spaces and um, other than that, it's a pristine condition and we can keep it that way. So we've got more than enough battery power, 69 rounds in our M2. I got to start going a little easy on that until I find at least one more belt of ammo for it. So another APC would be nice with a, a fat full belt would be, uh, would be perfect. Then we can get a little more, a little more rowdy with our gunfire. Uh, but yeah, so we're doing axe and, and rifle mostly for our, our work. Uh, we are up to date with the most recent experimental as of uh, well, five minutes before I went live. And uh, I didn't notice, I think there were two things. I noticed the, the change with the base, the, the Exodii base, and then um, there was something else, but it was minor, and, and I forget. I don't know what it was now. Hey there, Falsting Ding Dingsworth. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Long time lurker saying hi. Greatly appreciated. Lurk away. <laughs> Can't wait to hear more about the plan wound limb system. Yeah, there's going to be pretty fun stuff coming. So always be aware when you get grumpy about changes and they've modified something and your favorite build's gone or play style doesn't work or whatever. A lot of the changes they make are done in service of later changes that are planned. So they may be really irritating up front and nonsensical looking. But when you know that they have to do this so that they can institute that so that they can bring the whole thing together with those other things at the end, then it it, it will be cool. <laughs> but we got to take baby steps to get from one point to the other. And uh, they need time to get the infrastructure in and test it and then add and bolt and weld and uh, duct tape other things to it. Because, you know, everybody loves the Frankensteinian spaghetti monster of uh, code that is Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So, that's where we're at. Uh, we just finished looting this house. I remember that. Let's go ahead and get moving. I think I am going to go due north first. I want to go check out this road and see what kind of connection we have into this city. Is the forest going to completely envelop it? And in order to get through, I have to literally pile drive my way right through the entire city to get to the road network over here? Or is there a gap in the trees? I'm, I'm really hoping for a gap in the trees, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not confident it's going to be that way. Oh yeah, Frankensteinian Spaghetti Monster. You heard it here. I've referred to it as that a few times over the years, but uh, <laughs> nobody yet on the dev uh, support team has contradicted my my term for how the code is put together. Now, realize I, I do not code. I am not a coder. I don't contribute. I don't, you know, beyond complaining about things on the internet for Cataclysm and uh, explaining why I think it's stupid demonstrating things over and over again until somebody decides maybe to change it. That's my, the extent of my coding, is uh, secondhand getting other people to do it. That's that's how I code. Uh, so yeah, but uh, yeah, I, they, they, I think they'd all agree. Frankensteinian Spaghetti Monster is a pretty apt term. So, <laughs> that's a pretty accurate description of the code base. Yeah, that's, that's I mean, I've got a layman's understanding. You can't be exposed to the game for 4,000 hours and be constantly chatting with the people that do code. And not have an understanding of some of the basics of uh, just what the experience is in working with the game. <laughs> okay, off we go. Dermatix. <laughs> Two Dermatix right out of the gate. Let's turn away from the Dermatix. If you're not aware, Dermatix are bad. Unless you like little larval Dermatix babies popping out of your arms. <laughs> then they're good, I guess. Uh, 
which one is that again? I forget. Fungal flowers, is it? Oh, the flowers, they don't spread much, so I'm not likely to see the, the fungus from that one. Zombie tax. I just, there's no real reason to take these guys anymore. Now that they don't have fun bionics. Ooh, a stepladder. Do I want the, I want the stepladder. All right, let's go kill some tax just so I can get a stepladder. <laughs> You don't know. Stepladder. Yeah, I want a stepladder. So we're going to go rid the world of a couple of zombie techs. What's the over under on how many times they're going to yoink my rifle before, uh, before I shoot them to death? Last time it was, what, three? I think it took three times I got yoinked. Wield phaser set to kill. Get in the golf bag. Come here. Where are you guys? I think these I'll be able to stay far enough away, I hope. What do I got? 60. Up, oh, up. Oh, here. Might happen. <laughs> he got it. He got it. Oh, max range. He got it from 12. You bastard. <laughs> All right. Let's see if he gets my axe before I chop him up with my axe. Uh, actually, I should wait till he gets closer, then pull the. Well. He's on a timer for his ability now. Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's see how deep I have to go into my <laughs> my options here. I miss. Hey, theoretical understanding of bashing has increased. All right, I still got to go up there and get my my gun. Okay, so I either got to take... Ooh, Shocker Brute. And again, no benefit to killing Shocker Brutes anymore. Used to be a juicy target for getting CBMs. I would run them over or 50 cal them on my way by just to... Uh, just to uh, take them apart for the CBMs. Alright, phaser kill. Let's try this again. Oops. Let's get our stamina back first. So he got me from 12 last time, and if I start shooting, uh, let's see how to do this. The Shocker Brute's going to spoil things a bit. Shocker Brute, you're spoiling things. If I fire the gun, the Shocker Brute's going to come down. I need to grab my step ladder because I don't want to deal with the Shocker Brute. Could, could try to draw him. Yeah, let's do this. Let's draw him down to me. We'll, we'll, put, the, uh, we'll put the gun away wear it all right we'll, we'll we'll body pull old mmo term there we'll body pull the zombie south towards the vehicle then we will go ahead and uh i'll whip it out i'm gonna whip him out i'm gonna, I'm gonna whip it out hey, and he instantly pulls it <laughs> damn it good timing man good timing didn't even get it wielded before it was gone Okay, at least we didn't have to use the gun. Goodbye, you. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm climbing fences while wielding stepladders. Okay, what do we got? We got 315, 130, and 109. All right, you're going into 109, along with a heavy battery. You may be asking yourself, why does Vorm care about a stepladder? I will explain once I get away from, once I get away from these guys. How do zombie techs pull your weapons? They used to have CBMs, now it's blob magic. Yes, blobs have magic. All about the blob magic. Damn, Shocker Brute. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Why are you running northwest? Are all the zombies going to be running northwest or west now? Oh, I saw Woodland White for a second there. Uh, 
right, let's stop here for a second. Get items. Step ladder. Wield. So, if we activate our step ladder, uh, sure, right here. Then we climb our step ladder. Uh, what are you doing to me here? Can't go up here. I think I need to move north a little bit. Can I drag a step ladder? Yes, I can. Ah, uh, how did I do this before? <laughs> I've done it before. Uh... Hmm. Well, now I'm confused. Maybe I don't need a stepladder. Uh, I don't think it's act. Is it activate? I don't think it's activate. I've used it before. I've demonstrated it not long ago. And I I can't activate it if I'm if it's in my inventory. I thought it was just climb, but I'm probably forgetting the exact use case here. Not examine vehicle. No. Either they changed something or I'm forgetting the use case. But I've climbed up on top of my, my vehicle before. Uh, maybe it's the... Well, it's not asking me for a target tile either. Uh, is it not the Humvee? Maybe I'm misremembering which vehicle allows it. Maybe the Humvee does not allow it. It's probably that the Humvee doesn't allow it. We'll test it on another vehicle when we, when we get to town. I'm probably just forgetting which vehicle I could do it in. Some vehicles you can, some you can't. Has to do with what officially has a roof or doesn't have a roof or things like that. So, but yeah, I've demonstrated it not long ago. But uh, it's helpful because it gets you up a level, so you can get a further view with your uh, your, your map range. Um, so, as we drive, if we find another vehicle, we'll test it out. Hey there, dead body. You have nothing I care about. What are we approaching here? A hunting lodge again. I remember the hunting lodge. It had no zombies. I'm gonna not go in the hunting lodge. An apartment tower on the outskirts of town. That I might not be able to resist, just to get a nice high view of the area. Skate park. Zombie hollows. Ah, that's a bit of a pile. <laughs> Zombie hollows, pupating, pupating, multiple hunters, lots of dogs, dissolute. Ah. Hmm. And a big old pile of stuff running this direction. What is that? What's, what's running this way? Oh, it's animals. Animals. Probably being chased. Been chased, I'm sure. Alright, let's go back around the other way. I never stopped to finish getting my my mechanics to aid so we could get the electric engine installed so I could do, I could do quiet close approaches. Yeah, there's still gonna be with double zombie spawns, there's still gonna be too many zombies in the apartment tower, I think. But, yeah, it's looking like the forest does butt right up against the, uh, the city edge. So I would have to pile drive my way right through the middle of town in order to uh, transition to that other road network. Hey there. Got an ambulance right next to a short fire truck, huh? Hmm, a necro zombie and a gasoline zombie in the same area. Not that area there, but you know. So yeah, we got a short fire truck here. So these three are gonna have all of the fireman gear, just to close, and then there'll be three more back here. Um, probably too dangerous for me to try to work with though for now, in the daylight hours. Where's that Necro? Where are you at, Necro? Right over there. He can see me from there. Good job, Necro. 47. He's tracking me at 47.
more ambulance carnage and then some more houses let's not draw the current zombie pop to those houses let's run back south this kind of thing's pretty important strat wise so i'm hoping that i can I, I got an initial look i didn't see anything on this side of these houses i didn't want to pull the zombies from here up to it so i'm going to back this direction so that everything that just spotted me comes away from that area then I'll circle around the craters and come back. We're going to hope that this little zone is clear and we can just pop in and do some quick opportunity looting real fast. But had I just kept going up that direction, they would have followed me all the way up there and spoiled it. Obvious, but important. Thought it was the APC. It's not just the APC. The cube van, as Vendidurt mentions... That one I do remember I had when I tested it last time and demonstrated it. So it's not just... It, certain vehicles can, certain vehicles can't. Um, so yeah. Humvee apparently is not one. <laughs> Every time you go into hunting lodges, they have like an unholy amount of cocaine. <laughs> well, I've only been in one. In, uh, that was in like last episode or two. And it was completely empty. I, I don't like... I don't like going into completely empty new buildings. I usually put them on the do not visit list till they give them a zombie population. Just a personal thing. Yeah, the apartment tower could be helpful if I can pull some zombies away from it, but with double zombies in the world in the daylight hours, that's going to be a rough trip. And this guy, remember, has no combat abilities, so we're, we're sitting at zeros and ones, <laughs> mostly. No movement abilities, nothing like that, so he's a pretty bad one to send into those kinds of situations. Ah, slavering biters and pupatings on the front lawn. Uh, hasn't spotted me yet, probably, you know, they haven't heard me yet either. I might be able to tuck in behind here without them coming this way. I haven't seen the move yet. Oh, pupating just moved. Hopefully that was just a random shift. I think it was. Alright, we got a bit of an opportunity here. I'd like to pull forward more, but I'm worried about the engine noise attracting that pupating. Especially if it's got flyers. So we'll uh, we'll stop here. What is this one? I mean, this is a this, these are listed as houses. It looks like another apartment style complex, and it has the underground area here. I think I've seen this before. But I don't remember it being listed as apartments. Yeah, it's got the uh, the ladders on the back. I remember this, but I thought it was uh, it was named something else. Huh. All right, what else can we see? Smoking lounge, pawn shop, doctor's office. That could be our auto dock right there. Although we already know of one. <laughs> gun store. I'm not too interested in gun stores. Not civilian gun stores anyway. So if we can get on the go up the ladders on these this house right here, we can get a good look around regardless. So we're gonna try. Alright, what's our 53 out of 64? We are, I think, in looting trim. Ditch a few minor, minor things, but for the most part, I need to I need to tone down my <laughs> my medical gear list. Beyond that, though, it's just a bunch of tiny stuff. All right, yeah, let's let's go ahead and get moving. Let's go with the uh, the axe. I think I'm just gonna go straight up initially, and I'll do it on the side that's away from the uh, crawler. Let's see how high this takes me. I forget. One, two, three, and we are on a roof. Awesome. This is gonna give us a good view. Oh yeah, that's. That's about radio tower view. Well, I've got the binox on. Good enough. Gets me right to the outer edges of the city. So, outside the city. Nothing interesting to the north. We do have right here... 
Nah, it doesn't really gain me much. I was going to say right here, we could potentially burn a hole through this forest section to get to this road network. And it does go north over here, though. It just connects back down to the city and who knows what happens up there. So it wouldn't gain me much. Uh, I don't have an inherent need for anything at the sugar house, so that's not helpful. Looking at the town. Uh, it does have a museum, but it's buried right in the middle. No way I'm getting to that. Another dock office. Electronic stores. Garage. Although our, our need for the garage is way less now. We've got our vehicle welding rig. We've got our acetylene torch for going through metal doors. We've got our engine crane. We've got the Humvee all fixed up. So I don't really need doctor's offices. Or, I mean, doctor's offices. I don't need garages anymore. we got a good supply of acetylene, too. We can go through quite a few... Metal doors, if we go back into a lab or something without having to worry. Uh, so the museum so far is the only thing I see of particular significance. Um, not a single library or bookstore. Um, unless I'm missing it somewhere, I don't see one. So yeah, uh, other than transitioning directly through it, it's not a lot, uh, a lot of attraction there. Unfortunately, that's one of the only ways I can see to get across to this road network. Because it's looking like it's a solid line of trees all the way down otherwise. Again, possibly I could punch through right here. But that doesn't connect up to the northern network directly. Could be open road. Who knows? We've got another opportunity way down there. That'd be a bit of a drive, but not too bad. But we got other things to look at. Alright, so nothing up here I care about. Uh, I'm starting to feel a little bad about this place too, though. <laughs> if there's no actual zombies here. I don't know. Fencing masks over locket. Some alcohol. Let's flip on our mining helmet so I can see everything. What kind of things are you giving me? Nothing useful. I mean, if it's a building full of nothing useful, then it doesn't really give me any advantage. <laughs> Wasn't there supposed to be... So these are windows out to the stoop. There's a bedroom and a bathroom, but there's no kitchen? Oh, it's down. It's a vertical. That's what it is. That's right. Well, no, this looks like the same kind of place. What is it, a communal living? <laughs> is there a kitchen somewhere? Oh, what is this place? Uh-oh, so yeah, now they're giving me uh, antibiotics and antiseptic and tramadol. I, 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 I'm feeling a little slimy. I'm not gonna use it. We're not gonna use it. Let's just, let's just leave. It's, uh, it's too much free stuff. I don't mind using it for the view, but uh, that's where I draw the line, I think. Put some zombies in there, please. Too easy to abuse otherwise. Hey, zombie dog. I know. I'm amazed too. I'm shocked. Nobody loves you today. They're all they're all ignoring your needs. <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know why. Today must be no treat for zombie dog day. Uh, did I forget to pick up the phaser? Uh, I very well could have. <laughs> I very well could have. I thought I put it back on. Did I not? Oh, I did not. I, I did uh, I did leave it there. <laughs> Good call. I got replacements, but uh, better go back and get it. <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Yep, I got a I got an assault rifle. I'm not using it yet. <laughs> Rev to the rescue. Hey zombie dog, your 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 pleas were heard. Uh, this bag's too heavy. Alright, let's see. 
No, you gotta hold off a second. I gotta put the bag away. Alright, there you go. On that thing. <laughs> I was just surprised we made it this far without somebody jumping on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so... Yeah, so we're not going to abuse this place. Too much stuff. Uh, for, for, for no effort. Don't like it. Uh, and again, I think we've learned all we want to learn here. Other than pushing right through it, I don't think I would try to, to get anything. Other than just opportunities for house loot, so... Alright, let's go back and get our rifle. <laughs> I lost, I left the phaser. I got busy yakety yakking and uh, left it behind. We'll be a responsible gun owner and go back and retrieve our weapon. We don't want a wayward shocker brute to uh, start shooting people with it. The hell? Gee, did losing my weapon gain me an airdrop crate full of uh, winter gear, army man winter gear or MREs? <laughs> Uh, oh god, I played too much of this game. Too much. Too much, I say. Is it the... Wait. Yes, the bags are inside the packages. Alright, so... Yes. <laughs> uh, let's, let's go ahead and take this moment to ditch some of this stuff. Yeah, I, I don't need that many. Get rid of uh, 24 of those, all of that, all of that. Uh, uh, we'll go with, uh, oh, nope, we'll ditch that from the bottle side. We'll wait till we run out of bandages before I worry about gauze. Don't need any of that on me. All right. Oh, I see. Yes. Get rid of it that way. Don't need uh, that many bottles of this stuff. The the bottle of 10 will do. All right, get it down to a little more manageable column of, of things. Guess I don't need these with me either. But we actually decide to head on in. Those two I'll keep. Cool. Ah, oh, wing mirrors. Wait, I grabbed extras, didn't I? I think I grabbed extras. Didn't I get some install? Inboard mirror. Yeah, why am I driving around with... The blind spots, much better. Oh, just another glorious part of a properly designed and modded Humvee. No blind spots. All right, <laughs> let's go back. Riot control platforms. Apparently I also drove right on by a uh, turret stop. Ah, well that I didn't need. They're coming to get me. And right into the Woodland Whites. Oof. Second there, I thought they, uh, they actually hopped into the vehicle with me when I was driving too close. Again, we don't want them to come to the spot I'm actually going to, so we'll draw these guys away. Then circle back and down. I see you there, rifle. <laughs> or phaser. Try not to run over it. Guess I should turn this off too. Where? Phaser. Reload. Phaser. So yeah, I do have uh, weapons, I mean. 
We've got shotguns. We've got the uh, the M38 DMR plus three, which was new to me. I don't know, last uh, the Friday's episode was the first time I remember seeing one of these. So it's a H and K 416 variant. It's it's okay. It's got uh, pre-installed suppressor, rifle scope, and bipod. So technically, it would probably be a better choice to use. Otherwise, it's pretty much an even up with the. Uh, the M4, so I just really don't care. But we had a backup for the M4 just in case I did do something silly. And then we've got the RivTech RM51 assault rifle. And, you know, a couple of rounds for it. <laughs> so I'll switch to that when things get serious. Till then, we're not too worried about it. And uh, we got an RDX charge. I've uh, never used an RDX charge, so I figured we'd lug it around. We had a pretty good, pretty good Friday. It was a pretty good Friday. So many, so, so many soldier body sites. Plus, we got into a bunker. The bunker provided the bulk of that stuff. Uh, so, if we're done looking up there... Do I go hit the evac shelter before we roll south? Because I might choose to follow the net road network down this way and seeing what's, see what's out this direction. I think so. Let's go north again. We'll go hit that evac shelter first, then we'll head south. We'll probably do a little bit of reading, sleeping, whatever, before we uh, we head on into the school. What you got? Absolutely nothing on the ground in the area. Yeah. I don't need to get shot by beanbags, thanks. Yeah, it was just a uh, a panoply of soldier body sites body sites on Friday. We just ignored quite a few of them. Killed the zombies, of course. Didn't get anything useful. Whoops! <laughs> what did we kill? A possum? <laughs> oh, we didn't even kill it. <laughs> we sideswiped a possum, and he just kept waddling away. <laughs> that is a beefy possum. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, computer. Emergency message. Give me your emergency message. Do not panic. Remain inside the building, even though it has holes in it and all the windows are broke. Seek shelter in the basement. Use gas masks. <laughs> Contact us. All right. So if you're not aware, I don't do NPC stuff much. We're only doing this much because of the challenge. Uh, but this is how you get the, the, the information on where to go to a refugee center. So it's 216 to the south, and you get a message over here that says uh, the, you marked the refugee center and the road that leads to it. So 216, huh? So you'll also see, if you watch whatever direction it says, if you watch the very edge of the screen, look for this little blinking indicator here. It's not actually south. It's apparently southeast. <laughs> And now it's south. And south. Oh, there it is. Look at that. It was just off the edge of the explored screen. Just barely. We had actually seen part of it. I just didn't recognize the uh, the square cutout. So the building itself is just right there. Just in the hidden area. Okay. Well, we got one located. Let's actually put a note on it, I guess. Alright, so south. South it is. South and east. It's a ways away, but that, that'd be a fairly short drive since we know the route. Yep, right there. Alright, we can get to that. Protein rations. Do I care? I don't care. Actually, I do want to check. What's my what's my water supply look like? I got that jerry can. How much? Sixty nine. That's plenty. Uh, 
Uh, I found a RivTech gun Friday, unloaded and left it behind. That was the uh, the light machine gun. That was the the squad weapon that you have to mount. <laughs> it was it, yeah, it was the light. It wasn't the heavy. It was the light because it had the 250 round drum mag. So yeah, I had no use for it. You got to mount the thing and. Uh, you're just never going to have enough ammo to make it really worthwhile unless you, for some reason, have a surfeit of uh, bunkers in your uh, your your game world. So, I never bother to carry them. I just stick with the 50 cals. They get the job done just fine. But the uh, assault rifle is the only man-portable <laughs> version that I've found so far. I usually waffle between the assault rifle, the uh, sniper rifle, and the uh, battle rifle. Whichever one I get first, I'm super happy to get. But once I start having choices, it just kind of depends on the run. You did not miss the school raid. Not yet. We're, we're, we're running around in the daytime hours before we, uh, we do the school raid. Hey there, everybody. <laughs> All the new arrivals. Sirius, Dean, Arden, welcome back. I'm going fine. You guys can enjoy your shiny new greedy zombie dog emote. That's, uh, that's, that's the zombie, the greedy zombie dog emote. You're supposed to use that when you think I'm pushing my luck. I'm getting too greedy in my, my looting endeavors, which is, you know, pretty much all the time. So I, I, I assume you guys are going to take liberal use of that. And then the picture that that came from is in the over the mini-map. So you have some frame of reference for what that represents. <laughs> Uh-oh, a rename. Rename the, the assault rifle. Boom, boom, boom. But I don't want to... It makes no sense. Well, I guess it does make a boom noise. It's not a laser. Assault rifle. No, I, I think I got to carve this one. So activate... Combat knife, right on an item. Uh, I gotta be holding the item. <laughs> Come here, stupid assault rifle. Now, combat knife, right on an item. Oh, nope, all right, the other thing. Activate my permanent marker <laughs> on an item. Assault rifle, it's a label. Boom, boom. Boom. Yep, that'd be the one. Alright, there you go. Now I have boom, boom, boom to go along with uh, phaser on kill. Phaser on kill. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's stick you... I'm going to stick you up front, just in case I need to do a quick grab. Oh, are we continuing the theme that I have no no reference for or knowledge of? <laughs> You're doubling down on the Vingabus theme. Got it. All right. So for the late arrivers, <laughs> all we did was uh, we started here. I just rolled north. Then we did a little bit here, and then we came up here. And then we got a view of the map area. And then we came over to the computer, and now we're heading back down south. So there you go. You're all caught up. Didn't miss anything. Oh, it's so glorious to have my Humvee back. So glorious. Can't tell you just how happy I get. <laughs> what a feeling of comfort and safety and contentment when I've got my tricked out Humvee just humming along. Love it. Alright, now I gotta decide, am I going to try to do a bit of Pied Pipering? Whoops. Already a monster at, huh? Alright, well, he's allowed to be there. First come, first serve. 
boar turkeys. I'm assuming I already came along here and did some looting. I didn't go into the houses apparently. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Zombies right on the other side of the vehicle. That's where the noise is coming from. Couple little guys. Um. All right, let's uh, let's pull over here for a second. Hopefully the wild turkeys don't get me. Bees are set to kill, and no, don't shoot the stupid turkey. Nah, shoot the little one first. What the hell? Wait a minute. Oh, the Zylchambi is downed. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what. So. Yeah, I, I'm looking at the uh, the to hit numbers. I mean, I'm only generally if I'm if I'm not trying to track something super super hard to hit or something, I'm usually just hitting P right away. But when I switched targets, I noticed it didn't really change the the aim numbers much. I thought these were a lot harder to shoot because of the size or other factors, and there's really not much difference. Oops. Well, I guess that's a larger difference than I thought. Thirty eight for the head. 62 for the body versus 19. So it's the headshot change. Yeah, that, that's a pretty big difference. All right. As long as there's a difference. I was expecting it to be harder to, to shoot that. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to stand here and see if anything shows up to investigate the noise. I guess we'll turn safe mode back on. Shrieker is on the way. Shrieker got hung up on the back of the vehicle. You idiot, Shrieker. You big dummy. Great. He's inside the vehicle. <laughs> that is really inconvenient. Uh... Hey, you. There's the Shrieker. I was hoping not to shoot this far forward, but I don't want to get shrieked at. See what additional attraction I get from that. What do we got? Rubies? Rubies. What kind of gun you got in the front seat? Ooh, zombie hunter not coming? Yep, there he is. And two zombie hunters. Let's pull back towards the vehicle while they catch up to me. Just in case things get a little rowdy. So this is a good example of testing of the sound system. And yeah, should have put my earplugs in. Not much else going on, so there's not any competing... Uh, sensations or such for them to uh, be drawn to. So the gunfire is pretty much it. Alright, nothing else coming. Let's uh, relocate the vehicle now. I wanted to uh, check out a couple of things. Earlier, I tried to demo the step ladder. I'm just curious if it's going to work now. Activate step ladder. Right there. Climb south. No. <laughs> there you go. We have climbed up onto the step ladder, or onto the, uh, the vehicle, which gives us the additional height to uh, see further. You can't really tell because I'd already mapped in this area. But. Uh, yeah, it just depends on the vehicle. Some vehicles you can do it, some you can't. It has to do with either the roof setup, that kind of thing. Uh, let's see. There, climb down. Take down the step ladder. So there will be times where I can use it. Plus, I could use it to climb the drain, climb, climb here without worrying about falling off. So I can just bring a step ladder and then climb up onto the building. I don't have a vehicle handy if I am desperate to get a a longer look around. 
All right, back into the vehicle with you, stepladder. Um, I guess we'll go take a look at the house. Web zombie on the way. What am I still looking for in houses, actually? Pickled meats? Eh, pickled meats are good. We'll grab some pickled meats. Let's just drink that sports drink right now. I'm slaked. Eh, drink it anyway. <laughs> 